What is up, my niggas? It is me, Fitz Thistlewitz, here with a let's play of Dear Esther. It's the, uh, the latest action FPS game, very much in the vein of um, Duke Nukem, Half-Life, Doom and so on. Just lowering the sound a little bit because I can't hear my own voice. And I uh, do enjoy the sound of my own voice. Okay, well, I uh, can't wait to kill some zombies, head crabs, aliens, that kind of thing. Dear Esther, uh. the morning after I was washed ashore, salt in my ears, sand in my mouth, and the waves always at my ankles, I felt as though everything had conspired to this one last shipwreck. I remembered nothing but water, stones in my belly and my shoes, threatening to drag me under to where only the most listless of creatures swim. Okay. I think this is just the tutorial. I think, um... Oh, we're playing. Oh, okay. I wouldn't really describe deep sea fish as listless. Seems a bit weird. Oh, automatic light switch. It's nice. This looks actually a lot like my house. Uh, the colour scheme's a bit different, but... And obviously I, I have a computer in my house, but apart from that, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just looking for the sh oh what? What the fuck? Just looking for the shotgun. Don't really know what happened there. I seem to kneel to the ground for some reason, but okay. I think there was a bird. Well that's good, it's scary, scary game, good, I I like it already. Oh, light switch goes on automatically again. And here are some cans of luminous paint. Okay, didn't know that existed, but great. Ah, nice day. Lighthouse. Okay, I just have to find the magnum. Or the crossbow, I actually usually like crossbows in games. Um, Okay, so this is uh, Dear Esther, or Dear Esther, if you're American, which I sincerely hope you're not, as um, I hate Americans with every uh, fibre of my being. Uh, uh, okay, just kidding, I'm kidding, I'm just a big joker. <laughs> but no, seriously, I do hate Americans. Well... Non-stop action so far. I'm on the edge of my seat, but um, that's only because my chair is broken. Ooh, I wonder if I can paddle. <laughs> oh, it's cold. <laughs> okay. Oh. Some sort. When you were born, oh, your mother shit. told me a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No, it didn't. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. Um, I always admired you for that, that you cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. I don't think I did I that consciously. I began vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Hmm. Well, if we only met when I uh, was past the age of six, I don't really know how you can have such detailed knowledge of my vacuum-filling youth as a disfigured Gorbachev-esque baby with the birthmarks, but oh, this is nice. I'm not really sure who that guy is. Is that meant to be me? Is that like my inner monologue? monologue? Oh. Well, I'm lost already. Well, I got lost there, but um, I think I'm on the right path again. It's quite annoying to get lost in this game, as there's no run function. Um, or a jump function. Or a map. Or guns. Or enemies. Um, or things. It's uh, Actually, I think I've been here before. 
Oh well, in the interim, I wonder. Did they assign chapter and verse to the stones and grasses, marking the geography with a superimposed significance that they could actually walk the Bible and inhabit its contradiction? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. You are mental, sir. You are talking shit. Or well, you're at least very vague, and you uh, jump from subject to subject. Dear Esther, oh, you're starting up again. I'm Paul. I made my own little pilgrimage. Yeah, I was speaking, okay? My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts. pretentious shit. I walked into the field of water and the crab of dreams I did catch. It was amazing, Esther. You should have seen it. What are you doing here? Why am I here? John had cancer. Cancer of the mind, not the brain. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying before, I was... I've oh, become fuck him. Can, can you do a Malcolm McDowell impression? And he went, yes, I, I can do an excellent Malcolm McDowell impression. The waterways of the spirit are equal to only that of the... Oh, Bible. And, um... Chemistry. Oh, This is... This is some lost tier shit here. That big fat guy. Didn't lose a single pound. Typical American. Oh, no. Oh, I'm being cheeky again. Oh. The announcer guy. I had kidney oh. stones and you visited right on me cue. in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anaesthetic, your outline and your submerged. speech were blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape. And you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh, so his wife died while he had kidney stones. And now he blames himself for drinking too many fizzy drinks and uh, salty food. And, oh, no. This is some tragic Shakespearean shit right here, guys. There must be a hole oh. in the bottom of the boat. How else could New Hermit... Oh, no. Did I just go around in a circle? Oh, shit. Oh, because, oh, but that, it's like life, you know, you go around in circles sometimes, it's, you know. So that's why we decided to uh, put it into uh, Dear Esther, because, uh, yeah, we're a kooky bunch. We, uh, we're, we're very deep, though, you know, so uh, we, uh, this game is full of metaphor and uh, stuff. Oh, fuck's sake. This steering wheel represents man's inability to steer himself away from fate. Uh, just as the uh, protagonist couldn't steer away from Esther. Ah, oh, see, it's deep shit. Oh, fuck, this is frustrating. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Is it this way? Is this where I came? Ah, oh, fuck, I am just terrible with directions. I do not know what I'm doing. I think this is where I came. Or was it? I'm just gonna go this way and see what's... What's over here. I wanna marry a lighthouse keeper and keep him company. We've always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Do it. Kill yourself. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Quite a slow fall. I'm full of helium. It seems like water from episode one of Star Wars. Yep. This is a uh, pretty... Oh, no, I wasn't dying. I was flying. Oh, that's so nice. It's like the ending to Super Mario 64. 
just can't wait till the ending where I'll have Esther and this guy with the cake. Uh, thanks for playing! Oh, thanks for playing! I can't remember how the song goes. Something like that. <laughs> it's Lord of the Rings. Um. Oh, I can't do it. I can't hear myself sing. This music's too loud. Oh. Well, at least he turned into a seagull. Which is almost as good as getting his dead wife back. In fact, it's better. I wish I was a seagull. Come back. Who? Me? I've, I've finished the let's play. This, this is it. Okay? You alright? Hello?